Whose man's is Flame Victini? Flame Victini brought Doggy Stall. This is so funny. Like, um, yesterday, like, Brofist was like, uh, he like forced Obi to bring Stall apparently. And then they were talking about like how FV made him like not use Stall. I don't know which tournament it was. I think it was World Cup. I don't remember. Would be nice if I had someone who knew uh, more about the story. I just know a little bit. And your Rayquaza has a Hooper, which is really good versus Stall if it's backs modest, but Duck Trio just traps it. So Hooper only gets one kill, which is really. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I hate Duggy. I hope it would, hope it would have gotten banned. I have said this like multiple times. Uh, I mean, this is gonna be interesting to see. McGinnis lead predicting the 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 sable eye. Um, Flamey T just gets up rocks here. Like, um, I could see this being um, like it's obviously Z move Gera or Z move. I mean, he has multiple Z move users. At least, at least, uh, Reku gets his rocks up. But yeah, the Lando gets poisoned. It is a tough. Tough matchup for Reiku, I think. But I don't want to talk him out. He, he beat Zamrock. Zamrock had a fat team. I mean, he hexed him a little bit. Lord Blunder said Stall is literally made so that you don't have to make plays. So what did he lead with Chansey? Yeah, I'm, I really... I, I mean, I always lead with Sableye when I use Stall. I know I didn't do that. Like, use Protect on Sableye for a reason. Maybe he doesn't have Protect on Sableye. I mean, yeah, he gets up rocks early, but he has to defog soon anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Not too sure why he did that. Hope the recording settings and everything is fine. I was just like, let me know. Um, if you haven't checked out um the 1080p 60 FPS, just like if you have good internet, please click on there. Like that should, it should look pretty crisp, honestly. I've been working on that to get that. So that um, I can get it to work for you guys. Um, took me like a while. Been testing out some recording programs. Um, so he makes the U jump lane there, which is nice. So the Skarmory doesn't just defog for free. So he can um, go to Gengar here, or he can go to Hooper. Yeah, like I said earlier, he has um, a few Z move users. He could be potentially a Z move Gengar. Uh, Magina could also be, but I think Magina has a salt vest on his team, looking like how the rest of his mods are super weak, kind of to like Specs, Ash Ninja, or like Greninja in general. AV Magina makes a lot of sense on his team, so I assume it's uh, not Z move Magina. Yeah, it could still be Z Snatch, Hooper, um, Z Fly, Gera, but I think Hooper is Specs. That just makes the most sense. To break balance or stall. I mean, I don't think I would never have predicted to flame team to bring stall. <laughs> but the Wolfpack are actually doing well this week. I think they are three and zero at the moment. So yeah, this is nice. I know. I mean, I can understand why flame team wants to win. And you like you wouldn't predict. Like, actually, flame team has used stall in the past. I don't know why I said you wouldn't expect him to bring stall but he doesn't use it like lately he hasn't been using it is what I meant to say so he's fire punch which is really weird this look like scarf because that did absolutely nothing scarf physical hooper like I have wanna set someone to lead this game yeah we can we can actually like we can like stop watching this right now because pretty sure flame between just wins uh, scarf hooper doesn't break stall judgment or specs hooper like the the sets that go in on stall. Bandit is actually like uh, I was talking about this earlier. Bandit blows stall away like if if Ducky didn't exist. This could be trick Gengar, but now nah, he's already Scarf Hooper, so yeah, the Z move will be Gyarados makes the most sense, but I hope it's Mega Gyarados because Mega Gyarados. No, actually, Mega Gyarados doesn't beat Toxapex, because even if you have Substitute, Toxapex has Haze. That Shadow Ball did nothing, so he's not Max Defense Toxapex, I think. I think he runs a little bit of Spidef on this.
I mean, you revealed rocks you to Lando, so it's not Zim of Lando, which is a bit sad. Zim of Lando could break Skarmory, and if Zim of Lando is would have weakened Skarmory, that doesn't really open up anything. But that open up anything. Like, that could open up the potential Gyarados if the Gyarados is DD Earthquake, but then I think it still has to, like, hope that it doesn't get burned by Toxapex or that it needs Substitute and has to go on the right, for sub on the right turn, but Toxapex would go for a Toxic. I mean, Toxapex would also be T Spikes. I prefer Toxic on Toxapex to beat Zardex when we won. I mean, he doesn't necessarily need it since he has a Dagi, but I'm just saying. Yeah, it just goes. Hmm. I mean, this this is definitely. I don't think that specs getting at like thirty three like that. and nothing. Toxic specs um, usually run more fist death, especially on stall. And um, what well, nice to see Rek. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing. I mean, yeah, Chancy cannot touch his Gengar, so I understand why he's sparing Shadow Ball, but. Like, he, this doesn't accomplish anything, like... Chansey can click um, Seismic Toss, it can click Stealth Rock, it has a lot of PP. <laughs> Shadow only has 24 BP, so yeah. Don't... I, I really don't see Raikou's win condition, like... Faramosa gets warped by Toxapex for days. Unless, like, if it's Z, Breakneck Blitz, it can do some nice damage. But yeah, it still it still doesn't break it. I don't think. Like especially when you can scout for breakneck blitz on the on the right turn, or you can go for recover on that turn that you expect the breakneck blitz. So it was helmet landers, the standard set. I could see um Flame Victini uh, scouting for a trick here. But I don't think it's I don't think it's Scarf Gengar, but it could be like Scarf Hoopa's not even good, why is he running that? Like, like maybe he's not Scarf, maybe he's Zemo Hoopa, but... Because that's definitely not banned, because it's 90% to a chancy. I'm just wondering, because Scarf Hoopa isn't even fast, it doesn't even outspeed some shit, like... Scarf Ganner would make mu much more sense to me for speed control, and then just Specs or Band Hoopa for power, but for some reason he chooses a different way to go. I mean, Scarf Hoopa can catch... Like, it can catch the opponent off guard one time, I guess, and get one surprise kill if FlameVT brought offense, but he didn't bring offense. <laughs> like, I wanted to ask people to join this, but... Not really a point, to be honest, like... <laughs> the only thing I like about watching Stall versus... This is a different playstyle. I would call this bulky offense. What Reiku has. The only the only thing I like about it is that um, it's interesting to see if the non-stall player is able to break it and how he tries to break it. But I really don't see what Reiku can do. Like his hazard control is a rapid spinning Faramosa potentially, which. And by clicking Shadow Ball, you don't gain much. Like, he, he doesn't make any progress by doing this. Like, his only way of like making a progress would be like if Flame Victini stays in and he crits. But I'm pretty sure Flame Victini will just go back into chance. He's not risking a crit. Um, a crit would do. A crit wouldn't even kill this. So yeah, Flame Victini can just go for recover, I guess. There's a Tokitom game versus who was Tokitom's opponent? I think it was versus CL. The game is supposed to happen in like 30 minutes or one hour and 30 minutes. And there's Extra Shine versus Snowy. Shoutouts to Australian time zones. That game is 5 a.m. 5 a.m. my time or something like that. So it's in like four hours and 30 minutes. I might stay up for that.
So yeah, what I'm trying out, I'm, I downloaded some new fonts. I'm trying out some new fonts for my thumbnails. Um, let me know if you like like them. But I think yeah, you will like them. Like I'm not sure if I should like always use the same font or just switch it up a bit. I don't want every like thumbnail. I mean yeah, every of my thumbnails they look a bit different, but I want them to look like more different if that makes any sense. <laughs> Jade, I'm not really sure what's going on here. Someone explain. <laughs> so he is not. He reveals that he's not choice gang. I finally reveals the taunt. I don't think he's. What is this item? Mm. Yeah, he he bluffed being scarf. No, it's not scarf taunt. He switched the moves. It's he switched the moves, my friend. I mean, what does this even accomplish? Like, you would have to crit this, and even then, like. I mean, what is interesting is when a star player actually has a brain, and so every team has a brain, so. Besides, I don't get why that was chancy, but besides that, he's like playing this fine. Like some, you can watch, like if you if you watch like some ladder players with bad rankings, but with bad win loss with stall, like that's painful to watch, good god. I honestly like, sometimes misplay, I misplay myself with stall sometimes. When I rush my plays, that happens with every play still. But yeah, I think the, the last time I used Star was in the Doggy Suspect, and that was only for 10 games, so yeah, I, I got away from from using Star, which is nice. I mean, ever, ever since I started my YouTube, I still use it from time to time, but I, I just try to learn offense, and I'm still not super good with offense. My The, the play style I feel most confident with is like bulky offense and balance and balance is not good at the moment so yeah I just use bulky offense and offense and I, I have most of the time I have some defensive backbones like I don't use like bar bare offense most of the time man poor poor man Reiku had to face fat last week has to face fat again Like, Gyarados is the only thing that can potentially win Raikou the game, I think, if if he can flinch something, like the Skarmory, if he can flinch the Skarmory and then like, Supersonic Sky Strike crit the Toxapex, but he has to go for Supersonic Sky Strike on the exact, on the perfect turn, not on the turn that Flamvitini brings out his Skarmory, on the turn that Tox specs is in range of it, or like, I don't know, like... The Shadow Ball only has 15 pp left, so... <laughs> this doesn't accomplish anything staying with Gengar, I don't think it does. But what else is this play, like... His Landers is low... Landers also doesn't beat Chansey, because it's... Goes for Sludge Rift there, fishing for the poison or just getting some damage. Getting some damage on this is nice. So I guess he made some little progress there. So Sableye comes in predicting a taunt or, um, or a Sludge Wave. If it's if it's Z-move Gengar, he could blow the Sableye away. So I think Flame Bikini is not staying in here. I don't think he's like risking a Sableye. Like, it could be Z-move the way he plays this Gengar. Other options are Spooky played, which uh, shout out to user. I'm so sorry, lol has used. Um, I just don't think he's that sad. So, Z-move makes some sense to me the way he's playing the Gengar, like I said. Um, but yeah, if he's not, if he's not Z-move Gyarados. Hmm. How does he even break his team? Like, 
Ghostfire Mosa Project in the What did he predict? Okay, that I guess he predicted a knockoff or a Gen Z. Knockoff slash Gen Z makes sense. And losing the scarf is fine because he need, doesn't need a scarf. And now he just U turns. Flame Victini just goes into Toxic Pex here, obviously. I mean, Flame Victini can also go for recover because Scarf Ramosa doesn't do shit to Sableye. But oh my god, stop this man. Sorry with U turn. That man went for. Rapid spin predicting the packs. Like, what if Flame VT stayed in there? Like, he could have gone for recover there. There was an okay play to go for recover there. But yeah, going packs is fine, obviously. Well done by Reiko, I guess. Still don't think it matters that much. He has to. Like, if uh, Reiko can play well now, he can play well. He cannot. He just doesn't let the chance he come in and keeps rocks off. If he like gets in the, the Gengar, I mean there's gonna be some 50-50s if the Gengar's out versus the Chansey, because if he goes to Sableye on a Taunt, but he still takes rocks if he makes that play. So I think Reku actually, I'm, I don't I don't want to say Reku just wins, but he has a slight chance now. But I'm just playing with the TTK for fun, because this game is too boring, I guess. <laughs> so yeah. The stall team was used yesterday. I think I uploaded the the thorn with the thumbok earlier. Um, this is gonna be interesting to see what Flame Victini says when he uploads his analysis about the match, if he even will upload. I mean, versus some players, stall just wins for matchups, or just in general, if you don't bring the breakers. Um, nice to see Reiko avoid the skull burn there with the Magiana. Yeah, this, like I said, this is probably the uh, Assault Vest, not the, yeah, I thought um, that he would Vault Switch there. He's just gonna go for Recover, obviously. Flame Vitini is not the guy to to let this get too low and like, I mean, he could throw off another Scald or a T-Spike or a Toxic, but I think he will just go for Recover. Yeah, exactly. That's how you play. You play smart, you just, you don't get impatient. And get your toxic packs low. Flame Victini actually playing on his main house last time he was on some. There was some Tamahomi meme going on. <laughs> yeah, that did absolutely nothing. <laughs> Scarfupa is trash, dude. It could also be like <laughs> it could also be expert build or something, but I don't really see the point in that set. Wait, the Fuka set no way and doesn't even have a psychic move. I mean hyperspace fury, side punch, maybe gunk shot. And drain punch, yeah, probably drain punch for Tita. Makes the most sense to me, but yeah. So yeah, Toxic Base just walls like doesn't talk that Toxapex kind of walls this entire team besides Lando. No, it does. It also walls Lando because Lando's defensive and Earthquake doesn't do that much. Gyarados only breaks Toxapex if it can get like Earthquake crits if it has Earthquake and like a Void a Scald Burn or, or like Waterfall flinch this multiple times. Oh my gosh. We already had 90 minutes, nothing died yet, but it's just a matter of time if you will, if you will win this game. Um, he's just, Flame Victini is just playing this like super safe, he doesn't want to risk getting crit. Okay, now he finally throws off a skull and gets a burn, so... That sped up the game a little bit, now the Magiana gets whittled. And he gets a Volt Switch crit, with the thumb, which is something, but I'm pretty sure if we... If we went for um, Recover our skull here... Oh, maybe maybe for T-Sparks if he has... Uh, T-Sparks doesn't do that much, because Gengar is still alive. So I think he just went for recover or skull, yeah. Gets another burn rip. So 
So Vesa said that sub DD Gyarados could win this. That it could it could potentially win this, yes, but Especially since the Toxapex already used a few recover not only used three recovers. But if it has Earthquake it can like Toxapex cannot break the sub, so yeah, that's a potential win con, but Toxapex should be banned from it. Pokemon gets more fun without its standpoint. Like Toxapex is just that mon. Do you slap on a team if you're weak to specific? Like you can like make this whatever you want because it has good fist dev, good speed dev. Predicts to recover there. Nice taunt play. Not that it really matters because you can just switch out into Chansey here. Even though the chance he would be at 49 there. Like, you can, like, throw up Toxic Picks on your team and make it whatever you need it to be. If you need it to be your Specs Ash Green Ninja check, you can make it Spadev. You need it to be your, um. It always walls for a Moose, so no matter if you want Fist Death or Spadev. I mean, if it's Specs HP Electric for a Moose, I guess you don't wall that super well, but you still <coughs> eat that. Uh, you still eat a hit and can pivot out. So he picked the Chansey there, which is where he went for Sludge Wave. Uh, Shadow Ball could actually would have been super nice on that specific turn. Uh, this Gengar is about to die. Flamic Teeny will obviously switch out here, not let it, let his Toxic Packs die. Get the Regenerator health back. Yeah, like Gyarados is the only potential win con, but there's still a Skarmory, which actually, yeah, if the Skarmory doesn't have Whirlwind, if it has the counter set with Defog Roost and um, oh man, oh man, Heart Sableye, just I mean Taunt, I get the Taunt play because if if he went Chansey, he didn't want to let the Chansey heal. I mean, he can. Maybe he doesn't have protect because he didn't lead Sableye, but. Nah, he cannot go hard daggy because the Sash is broken, yeah. I mean, he doesn't even have to make that. He doesn't even have to go hard daggy. You can defog later, keep a daggy Sash. If the Gyarados is Mega and becomes kind of a threat, you can, like. Reversal that. Man, Flame Victini really stayed in. That was a risky play. If he lost the Sableye there, I think he, yeah, Flaming TD doesn't really need a Sableye, I think. Let me see. Yeah, it's, it's not like he really needs a Sableye, so I can understand that play. Like, going Chansey there is, I think he was pretty, like, Sure that Reiko didn't like Reiko wouldn't go for a Flurken on that turn because the chance he would get Volt switched on. Like if he goes for Flurken, the chance he can heal, which is what Reiko wants to avoid. So his play makes perfect sense. And even if he Flurken and killed the Sableye, he can just heal his chance the next turn. Then so I, I get Flame Victini's play. It's not like he really like Sableye doesn't it was nice to keep for Gengar, but Gengar's dead now, so he doesn't really need it anymore. He can just. Protect get more chip on this. I guess he can switch out on a protect to not take more burn damage, but switch into what? He, he can switch into Gyarados and the protect if he has substitute. But I don't think he has that. Okay, so Gengar never used the Z move, which is makes me think that it's Z move Gyarados. Like that's what I thought at the beginning too, but I just wasn't sure. So if it's I'm thinking Z move is either this or this. This revealed scarf, this is some weird set. I guess this could also. <laughs> I'm really not sure. But yeah, I'm still thinking the theme of Gara. Just not 100% sure about that. And this game is so boring, so I'm just trying to figure out the theme of user. I see he's probably just vaulting, yep. So he tried to catch him. Flaming Teen tried to catch him on a Flurken, which would have um, allowed him to get his Toxapex super healthy. And like the Magina would take more burn damage.
be sure if he wins this but because one guy ask in the chat who's winning this right now but i'm not gonna talk in the chat i mean he can go to gyarados here like it's nice that raikou's like was po was able to keep rocks off his side and keep the chancy out for most of the time so it cannot heal or get rocks back and he also was able to keep rocks on the other side which is like the only thing Rek really has going for him at the moment I mean he can go to Hooper maybe but Hooper doesn't really accomplish much Hooper gets walled by Skarmory I think like even if he fire punches I don't think that does enough so yeah, he goes Gyarados, which makes the most sense to me. So if this has... I mean, yeah, Ray he said it was over turn 1, I thought the same. But maybe he can flinch everything with this Gyarados. I hope the, the snowy game is like more exciting and I hope we see like Like extra shine is like known to bring offense, but you can change it up and catch someone off guard. I hope he doesn't bring stall though <laughs> He brought stall last world cup. Um, yeah, it's interesting like extra shine got bought in mid-season I think it's worth to stay up for his debut So he's off quick and I actually did a decent chunk to Clef, so this is like mixed defensive Clef, I would assume. Um, I run mixed defensive Clef to be able to check. Um, like I run like th decent amount of his stuff to check uh, Zyga, the sub call side. But Bandit Zyga is like real. Bandit Zyga saw like a huge raise in usage lately. Because it, it's it does pretty well versus this stall team. This specific stall team. So I don't know what Dragon Dance accomplishes when he has an unaware clef. Like if you're not Mega Gyarados. I guess yeah, he could be Mega not Mega Evolve for a few turns to take less from Moonblast, but like Flaming Teeny just Moonblast here, right? I think that's a safe play, like he doesn't lose much by moon blasting. So what what else was I trying to say? Oh yeah, I was talking about the Clefable spread. So I run mixed defense if, if I run this Clefable, the unaware one, because it um, still checks Manaphy. Manaphy can be a huge pain for stall if it has Psychic to beat Toxapex. It is again, so I think he's mega because otherwise he wouldn't dragon dance. Or oh, he's going for Z move crit, I don't know. I think he's mega and he's just a DDing up and mega evolving later on. But I think he needs like 3 or 4 DDs to Oko the Clove, even if he's mega. Like, man, if he can be really annoying this doll, I'm um, talking about the spread again. Since a chance he. Chanty takes a lot from plus six Hydrobotics, for example. Or if the Manaphy has the Rain Dance. Yeah, they run Rain Dance, right? Yeah. So if Manaphy has leftovers, it doesn't even have to be Hydrobotics. There's leftovers with Rain Dance and at plus two, like. Oh, yeah, it is Mega. At plus six, like, Tackle does a lot. And he gets a crit and doesn't even kill. Oh my fucking god. Why didn't he? Why didn't he? Why didn't he waterfall there? Did he put it in the switch? Maybe he doesn't have waterfall. Nah, he should have waterfall. Or maybe his last move is sub or taunt. Could be sub or taunt. I think it would be ice pawn, uh, ice fang. Yeah. 
Take out his bed. I mean, Lila is still using Ubers. Someone has a saber. No, not Fago. They run. Yeah, they run protect. Um, and then this guy's chill shadow said Fago is a Uber thing because of Temple Lily and OU. But um, Temple Lily. Sometimes I see Temple Lily used in Ubers. Not often, but sometimes. So yeah, we're not sure anymore if it's a plus two crit didn't kill the clef. I mean, there was definitely like more of his stuff clef than like, but it, I think it had some stuff. Sort of it wasn't full. The fans. Um, so lately, the, the satellites have been running more of his death to check double dance landers to be able to take uh, like a Z move, as he doesn't get the potential roll and he doesn't dodge. So this game is over. That was a, that was the win con. Like Gerardus could have won this potentially. Like if he had waterfall, he should have gone for waterfall there because it can flinch, which like re gives him a little higher chance to win because he can crit or flinch or get the roll. I don't know if it was a roll. Man, if he wield the rest, that it would have been hot. So he can just sack a satellite. That's two rocks anyway. I think there's a really point in switching out. I mean, Skarmory can shoot his head up for breakfast. But sacking this is fine. I see, it just goes for double protect in case he gets it. I mean, I like protect on Sableye in general, because... Yeah, you kind of waste the move slot, but... If you use it on the right turn, you can, like, predict the Z move. You can also, it's also nice with his choice lock mons. For, for example, Keldia, but Keldia is not really that common anymore. And Scarf Keldia doesn't do shit with his Toxic Packs anyway. But just in general, like on Sableye Offense. Like Sableye Offense, I mean, no one really uses that style. Sableye for Corona is an interesting thing that um, was used twice. Zemok used it in SPL and Bengay did, and it, it lost both games. But in general, it's a nice idea to like be able to keep rocks off for for Volcarona, because Volcarona is such a threat. With the Inferno Overdrive one is good. Uh, I like the Supersonic Sky Strike one a lot. Saw a post uh, about that one in the the forums. So he breaks the scum really a nice play. I mean, he can just go back into Toxic Packs. So I assume Reiko is gonna double out here. If Flame McTeam wants to be really aggressive, he can go for Defox staying in. So yeah, Reiko might predict them to be aggressive and go f just make the safe play. Don't time out, my friend. I, I mean, I don't think he can win, but it's actually kind of close. Toxapex still wants everything, though. Like yeah, yeah. Toxic Pack still wants everything. If this had Zen Headbutt, maybe he could win. Yeah, he actually could win if this had Zen. Nah. If it's Scarfed, it outspeeds the Dagi, yeah. If it's Sash Dagi, the Sash gets broken. So that's actually one if it had Zen Headbutt, kind of. Dang. So he sacks the Dagi. Oh, that doesn't even kill. <laughs> so now we will find out if it's Scarf, Hooper. If it outspeeds, it's definitely Scarf. I mean, it would make sense if it's Scarf, because the Gengar wasn't Scarf, he didn't have another Scarf. Oh yeah, he had Scarf Hermosa, never mind, never mind, he had Scarf Hermosa, I didn't say anything. But yeah, double Scarf is like seen sometimes. Since, okay, um, this might still be the Snatch, since we actually like saw it was not Super Sonic Sky Strike. And the Gengar never revealed if it had a Z-Move. <laughs> Yeah, if it's the Z-Move Hooper, he will get out spared here, and... Yeah, it's not Scarf Hooper. Gets a Toxic and the Hooper, which just... Riddles it down, like... <laughs> I don't know why he went for Toxic, like, Earthquake over Russell was fine there, but... I guess it doesn't matter. Toxipex comes in now and walls the entire family. Unless he unless he didn't show Zen Headbutt and he has it. Like he and just he just bluffed not having Zen Headbutt. 
I mean, it could still be Scarf Duck to you. So, we, we don't know 100% if it's not Scarf Uber, but I th Duggy is Sash most of the time. Especially because the stall team is kind of weak to SD Melrack. So, like, the Duggy runs Sash Pursuit to be able to trap Melrack. I mean, I've ran that before, I don't know, like, I don't want to, like, sound like some innovator, that's not, that's nothing special. But I just realized this team is super weak to Melrex, so I start running Pursuit. And, like, a few, like, like, then I play my friend, he said, bring Star with me, because, like, he was trying to bring a, build a, a team that 6-0 Star. And then I'm like, hello, I'm trying to get away from Star, don't force me to use Star. And, yeah, and he said to me that um, Pursuit was really common lately. So yeah, he switched up moves, yeah, like I said. I wasn't sure if it's not Scarf, but yeah, it's probably... It's like either Scarf or Expert Bell, but that's like some joke damage, 38%. The chat is like saying... <laughs> the chat is saying joke damage, or... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was saying it could be Z-Snatch. Yeah, he could have DD'd up one more time, and but he probably didn't have Waterfall and Gyarados because he didn't go for it. If he had Waterfall, he could have actually won, I think. Like if he got the flinch on Skarmory, or if Skarmory died to plus three Waterfall. Like, he has, if he doesn't have Zen Headbutt, like, even if he has Zen Headbutt chance, he wants to Hoover. Because <laughs> it's not banded. Mans could have won if he just had... The right hooper set. Dude. It's already 37 minutes and 30 seconds. <laughs> it's only been 50 turns. Regular has been like sinking long. Like, I get it. Like, cause it's, it's a bad matchup for him. He has to like make the, the super correct. <laughs> he has to think long term and make the correct play to have a chance to beat the stall. Um, if you got a crit there, would have been spicy. But yeah, honestly, when I do like shot on lives and and I use like fun teams and like I realized it's just like I don't like using Storm much anymore. Like I can I can tell you guys this. I have no problem with saying this. Like in Aura's, I use Stall like I use Stall a lot in Aura's basically. I, no, I had one good team which I went one, 31 and 3 with, which was, that was not stall, it was like um, Zardex balance or Zardex pokey offense. Uh, well, I think you would call it balance with Assault with Torn and Slowbro and Fable and Suicune, which actually put like a lot of work in versus the latter, because like some people just were not prepared for Suicune. Yeah. Mm. Uh, maybe I should have done an RMT at the end of Aurus about that. Team. I never did an RMT. Um, shoutouts to my shoutouts to Avon who peaked the ladder earlier and he's gonna make an RT later when BTB wakes up and because I th think they built a team together that he peaked with with Bex Gengar. I'm not sure if that's the team he peaked with. I will ask him soon or I will see if the RT goes up. Pretty hyped for that to see that RT from those two guys. Like I don't really there's no point in talking about the game like Reku has no win condition at this point. Unless he... Like... No, even critting the chance he doesn't help him with Hooper. Because his Hooper is poisoned. He needs to go for Zen Headbutt and flinch, but... There's no way he has Zen Headbutt if he didn't show it until this point. Where Scarface always run Waterfall on your Gyarados bros. Don't run Evil Hooper also. <laughs> I mean, it could be the Z-Snatch one, like I'm assuming. <laughs> Evil too, but that's not a set, dude. I mean, there could be some other options. It could be if it's not Zemo Hooper, it could be Sashed. But that would also be super, super weird. Like, that just doesn't seem like a good option, especially because like Spin Pheromones is not the reliable, the most reliable hazard control you can imagine. 
so yeah I don't think he says he's timing out so I think he did he just click a random button or he just did, I don't know like what 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 is the reason to run fire to get I guess he's going for the burn yeah he's going for the burn because toxic packs really wards everything and if he goes for the burn it gets a little bit more that I don't think even the burn would change the outcome of this game at this point Gyarados really was his only way of breaking breaking Effie oh well was 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 fun to waste 41 minutes on this kick I mean I hope the black and white game is not right after so I can <laughs> catch some break and eat a bit and relax my eyes because I've been looking at the screen for, <laughs> for a long time Yeah, he doesn't get the burn. Don't think he has a win condition at this point. No matter even if he gets the burn. ABR joined. What? I thought ABR lives in Smoke Truth. Interesting that he wasn't. That he just joined. I think he was online when the game like began. Began. Duh, not too sure. Oh, no, I don't think he was on. Because he said most all that. Why is his scarf is like <laughs> giving him tips or something like I think the set he brought might have had that probably was the reasoning behind the set he brought. Um what would fire punch be for? See I've got this joke damage to toxic packs and he just recovers and starts the land because it's poison. Yeah, just hit axe already. Yeah, fire punch is from Magina, right? <laughs> this team is getting stale. I think it's time for a new AVR stall. Cake. <laughs> Lol, one mon to stop stall from beating you. And then make that mon the one set that doesn't beat stall. <laughs> okay. I've clicked again. The Skarmory can actually. Since Lando HP actually HPS probably kills this. They run HPS for opposing Lando. Stone Edge is super ready stays on Lando. As Zamrock joined. <laughs> to see it is disgusting. Stall fast, he didn't even HPS. There's a spike, would you like get some more chip on these two? Not that there's anything like as we can like literally like play this with one eye closed or with both eyes closed like <laughs> Reiko finally realizes like I uh, finally like says GG and I mean he's a good sport I wouldn't say GG she maybe I would maybe I would say GG <laughs> oh yeah Zemrock said it wasn't even Churchill Hooper there was another option there was another option since it wasn't banned at Oscar. <laughs> Chancy is pro. <laughs> yeah, like there's no move that Scar for a move can have that can win at this point. Was fun, was fun, GG, my man. <laughs> Nice one of six AM. Yeah, season edge gives plus to speed, but of course people were faster than me. I wanted to type it in chat because someone asked. I, I don't even want to narrate this game like the ending. We all know Flame Vitini wins. <laughs> Go eat some nice potatoes. <laughs> okay.
He says well played. I mean that's really like a good sport. Man said GG well played. <laughs> like earlier he said GG, now he said well played. Yeah. I hope you guys like <laughs> if you guys watched till the end, like shout outs to you. I don't think many people will watch till the end because it's 46 minutes of disgusting stall, slowly taking Reku down. Pretty much, yeah, pretty sure it's for I for the Wolf Pack. They're doing pretty well this week. I think they still have a chance to make playoffs. Not too sure how many weeks they have to win. Um, they probably have to win all three weeks. Like this week seven, this week eight and nine coming after, and then playoffs. Pretty hyped for a playoffs. Thank you guys for watching, and hopefully no stall in the next games. Peace out, friends.